So today we're going to be talking about some quick tips and tricks about working with plastic chain. Uh, I'm going to be using 8mm pitch. Uh, go build a chain in this tutorial, but any plastic chain should work. Uh, and I'm going to show you through some of my quick tips for both breaking and connecting this plastic chain. So let's go get started. So when you're working with plastic chain, first thing you're going to want is you're going to want a slot screwdriver as a tool. And you're also going to want some needle nose pliers. Um, needle nose pliers are super useful for being able to uh, hold on to these things. So let's talk about breaking one of these plastic chains. You'll notice here that each individual link has a short side with the collar and then an attachment side on their half. In order to break one of these chains, what you can do is you can grab yourself a slot screwdriver, wedge it in between these two little points, push it in, give it a little bit of rocking back and forth while you're twisting the screwdriver left and right, and that should give you just enough space to be able to hook a chain up and off of one side. And once you've got that one side off, now you can simply again twist. So I'm pulling this chain out. So I'm twisting that chain and that breaks it off. Super, super easy. Now connecting a chain is a lot more challenging. And this is where I like to get a pair of needle nose pliers out. Grab yourself some needle nose pliers and hold your link in like so. I push it through on one side of the link, so I'm holding it. And then what I do is you wanna try to get this little nub inside this hole here on the other side. So I lean it in. Let's grab it appropriately here. So I'm holding this one nice and firm in this hand. I lean this one in and I'm pushing down against until I get it in that little hole. And then I simply twist over to be able to snap that in. So because it's really easy to work on a chain uh, when it's not attached to something, let's give you an example when it is actually attached to something here. I've got a six wheel chassis here. Let's zoom in so we can actually take a look at this breaking process again. So I need to break this chain. This chain is pretty taut. Should be a little more difficult here. So again, I'm gonna take this slot screwdriver and push it in, give it a little twist. As I twist, it pops it out. And now I should be able to twist it out and get that point unclipped. Now, I personally have a lot easier time uh, connecting these together with my right hand using my needle nose. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and flip this whole unit around. Okay, try to get that one of those corners in. Once you get that corner in, you can twist around. And I just broke another one of those chains. So even though I've been working with these chains for a long time, it's still a bit of a pain in the butt and working with chains. Outside of your unit makes this a lot easier. There we go. Beautiful. And that's it. So as you can tell, even if you're pretty experienced in this, it can still be a bit of a pain to get these things on. Um, but I have found that working with some new nose pliers and some slides of yours makes this about as fast as it can go. So I hope that helped you with uh, working with Shane and best of luck with your next project.